what's going on guys it's shane we are back here again with another video today we're going to be returning to upstate new york owned by midwest bus company uh, we're going to be doing a field trip route uh, as to where i don't know yet i'm going to think of it on the go um but we have a lot to talk about today uh well not a lot but a few things to actually talk about uh that i want to share um so let's go ahead and start with the bus um, we're going to drive an HDX. Hopefully it spawns in correctly. If it doesn't, we'll use a different bus. Uh, oh, it doesn't spawn in at all. Okay. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> um, let's try the, try actually, let's go with something a little older. Hmm. Shall we go? Hold on. Let's go 2005 Bluebird Vision. We don't drive this enough. We don't drive this bus enough. Okay, so first things first. Uh, if you live under a rock, uh, I have uh, resigned from uh, Midwest Bus Company as the co-owner and owner, uh, not owner, ownership um, position. I'm now my standard EPM. Um, and I'm gonna get into detail as to why, because I didn't really give an explanation in my little letter. Um, but first, let's actually decide where we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna pick up the high schoolers and we are going to take them to the new football field. Uh, not really a field trip. Eh. I guess you could call it a field trip. It's not really a field trip though, because actually, it's not a field trip. We're going to do kind of like uh, an away game type of uh, route. You know what I mean? Like we take the football team, we drive them to the away, you know, even though it's not technically away because um, the football stadium is literally in our county. We're going to pretend that it is. So they're going to be away facing the home team. Um, so why did I resign? Um, I just want to focus on myself. Uh, ever since I joined NBC, I've kind of, first of all, it was never my intention to become, uh, anything more than something in the training department. Cause that's where I started out at. Um, after my training director had left, me and him came to an agreement that we'd both just up and leave because, um, we were just, we were done at the time. Um, I mean, I think I'm pretty sure if I recall, me and him came to an agreement. He's, I know he was leaving and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave too. But then I decided to pers pursue a, so, sorry, pursue a different rank in a different department. Uh, and I did. Um, and the big catcher was the development department. I didn't get that until, uh, sometime i think i was a senior super admin or something like that and then i got to try out for the development department and that's that's honestly the reason i've been sticking around is solely because i've been in the development department um, and then from there uh, i was able to receive um, kind of ownership perks and stuff like that along the way um, one of those being joining the ownership team. But uh, yeah, I just want to focus on myself, really. Um, I love NBC, uh, always will, uh, but I, I'm pretty sure I speak for most staff members. When you work there for as long as I have, it becomes more of a, honestly, more of a job than uh, an activity or, or a hobby. Uh, and it shouldn't feel that way. I mean, for some people, yeah, but, you know, I guess, I guess it's a job, but it's not really, you know, it, it shouldn't get to the point where you're logging on and you're like, oh, I got to go host a route or oh, I got to go host this training. And for me, it kind of felt that way. Um, and I, you're probably wondering, how could it feel that way for an ownership member? Um I'm just going to spill it out, but I feel like uh, a lot of what I wanted to change for the company wasn't being heard. I, it was probably being heard, but it, it wasn't being executed. Um, 
me ha having two co-owners is quite difficult given that Royale has the seniority um, he has the upvote so anything that he doesn't like he'll uh, kind of rule it out but not to say he's not good to work with he's amazing and I am thankful for everything that he's done for me um, I just didn't feel like uh, I contributed enough or I'm not contributing you know as much as somebody else can you know um, yes I'm a great developer hence why I stayed on the development team I think that's where most of my um, abilities were going to um, it's probably half the reason you know I'm I don't want to say worshipped I want to say praised at NBC is because of my development uh, what am I looking for development um, um, traits I guess you could say everything that I've done development wise at NBC um, so I decided to just stick around as a developer and I'm probably just gonna stay that way um, but I have no intentions of joining any other staff related uh, jobs at NBC or at any other company really because I just want to do YouTube and I just want to work my nine to five that's that's, that's all that I got going for me right now really um, I want to continue this YouTube stuff because you guys are awesome um, and I, I, I think it was just my time to uh, you know kind of up and look up and go uh, but I didn't want to leave you guys empty-handed you know I'm gonna remain on the development department so uh, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll continue to publish updates um, but I don't want it to be known that I'm the head of the development department anymore uh, that's actually Fade. I call him Fade. He's got a new username that I don't know how to pronounce, but uh, he's the head developer now, thanks to me. Um, I just want to make that very clear. Uh, I allowed that. Um, so I gave it up. I gave it to him because he deserves it. Uh, so, you know, I just don't want to feel like everything's in my hands anymore. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, I just want to retire you know what I mean um, but that's that's kind of why I resigned hopefully that makes some sense if it doesn't you can ask down below and I'll try my best to answer um, in other news what else there was something else important that I was going to talk about and I already forgot what it was um, we're just going to drop these people's off uh, here's what we're gonna do as they are being dropped off or playing their little game we're gonna take a um, a drive to the um, the taco shop over there and we're gonna grab something to eat and while they're finished up we'll come back and you know do all that good stuff um, man I really don't know what I was trying to think of there is another story that I wanted to talk about which is uh, if you guys are uh, familiar with or um, aware of what's going on with the uh, Senate and the uh, CEOs of major social media platforms, um, actually that ties into what I wanted to say. Now I remember it. Um, they're being uh, there's gonna hold a lawsuit against. All of the, you know, TikTok, Discord, Snapchat, Meta, um, X, all of the CEOs are being um, kind of asked to represent their companies in uh, at, in the Senate uh, in front of a committee um, because of like self harm and um, negativity that's promoted on their apps. Um, I just think that's very interesting. It's something very big that's going on along with this, you know, presidential debate that's about to be happening or that's that's happening uh, currently and it's been happening for quite some time, um, which is understandable considering the election is this year. Um, but I think it's cool that um, they are being held accountable but I do also want to mention that 
uh, I am a firm believer that um, they shouldn't be held fully accountable. Uh, I think a lot of the Senate members are trying to uh, make it seem like that uh, their apps are just strictly horrible and they're not made for users under the age of like 18. Uh, and that's not true. I think, um, I think that in more ways, I think the social media platforms are used for, obviously there's your negative and your positives, but, um, what am I trying to say here? I, I totally forgot what I was trying to say. Um, I just think they're right and they're wrong. Some of the things that they mentioned is, uh, needed to be said and some things um don't need to be said um it's all just really weird um some of the uh ceos are complying some of them aren't uh, i know mark is he's being a little sketchy i will admit he is being a little sketchy um when i was watching that um debate there it, it made me so mad because uh, they were asking a bunch of yes or no questions and Mark would just try to try his hardest to kind of avoid the question and kind of elaborate on something different. It just makes me mad when they don't respond with a yes or no. And I get it because they're trying to make a statement and they're trying to show everything from their perspective. But um, I think it's just important to have those kind of debates, especially with these huge companies and some of the most richest people in the world but uh yeah that's just just something i wanted to talk about um but how that ties into what i was going to speak about my discord account got suspended um discord are is one of the oh oh lord we missed our stop discord is one of the um companies that are being um, asked to represent uh, at this, you know, committee um, in front of this committee. Um, so it said my account, we have suspicion of something being underaged or something like that. The only thing that I can think of is I joke around a lot saying that my I'm like 12 years old and stuff. I've said it like five times in the NBC discord. Um, so I'm thinking they're they're really moderating um like a lot um because of this whole lawsuit thing and they really kind of pushing it. I mean they're like they suspended my account, they're asking me for my photo ID and stuff, which I sent them. Uh so it should be unsuspended very quickly because if it's not then that's gonna be a problem because if you don't know I am twenty years old. I sent them the photo ID, um, so they have everything they need to know. But um, yeah, can I get the two tacos and two burritos and that's it to go, please? Look at this for Tyler Shea Arson. Look at that. Look at look how good this build is. Very nice. Same with this one for Haley Shea Arson. Look at that. Very nice. Actually, fun fact, this was intended to be a substation. Uh, and when I say stu substation, I mean like sub sandwiches. Um, but it turned into a pet store, which is weird. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll have my Discord account back soon. Um, that's what we're hoping for, at least. Um, but let's go ahead and hop back on this bus here. Here we go. Start that bus. Why isn't it? Oh, there it goes. There we go. Okay. So, sorry to ramble on. I just, you know, in most of the videos, we don't have much to talk about, but uh, I felt like that was a good thing to bring up. This is very interesting. What's going on? Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't mean to pull out. We're going to take... Don't you honk at me, pal. We're going to make a left here. <laughs> I 
Oh god, now they're following me. Um, but yeah, it's so weird because my Discord account has never been suspended or banned or anything. It's never received any type of moderation. Uh, so it's just so weird how they just do it now. But I have, uh, I think it has everything to do with that lawsuit. They're cracking down on everything, so. I should get it back, though. There's no reason why I shouldn't. Because they ask you to send, like, they ask you to write down your username on a piece of paper, uh, grab your photo ID, and take, like, a selfie of everything that's, like, everything has to be in the photo, like your face, your ID, and the username on the piece of paper. So. The, um, moment of truth, this is where we find out if we lost the game or not. And what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Did we win or did we lose? It's 50-50. Did we win or lose? We won. Of course we won. <gasps> oh, did y'all get that right? Did you get it right? You probably got it right. I gotta get a screenshot. I guess this would be a good spot. Yeah, let's see here. Let me see here. Nice photos. All right. We'll go ahead and head back to the school and here we go. Okay. Um, we actually could have, I wonder if we could have gone out that way. I guess you could have, but It'd be more convenient to go out this way. Um, okay. Do the headlights work on this bus? Okay, they do. Good. But um, the whole goal of me resigning is just to kind of step back. If I didn't make that clear already, I just want to step back. I want to do less to have more time to focus on everything I have IRL, you know. So, just letting you know, in case I didn't make that clear. They're probably going to run that red, aren't they? How much you want to bet? Yep. Anyway, I figured I'd do a video on here. Um, it was really originally supposed to be a field trip, but um, turned out to be this. So, there you have it. We took our football team to the away game, and we won on the road. And we're going to park right here, because we can everybody off the bus oh boy never mind um okay yeah we're just gonna leave it there uh if you guys do wish to check the game out yourself we will be linked in the description down below as always if you guys like the video please leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys next time peace